Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm building a tiny house, one of my favorite things to do. So welcome to another installment of the Squish. And this one is actually based off of a real life tiny house that I had seen on YouTube and I hadn't watched the video yet, but I was like, oh, that looks really cute. I should take a peek at it. And then one of you actually tweeted it at me. Uh, so thank you to MoonLotus95 over on Twitter asking me to recreate this home. It's not perfect. It's based on the exterior and then the inside is different. I wasn't able to fit as much space in it because of the restrictions of the Sims 4. So like the lofted bedroom thing is not really a thing in here and there's only enough space for one Sim unless you wanted to add a like upper bunk above the couch area in this house. But I still was very much inspired by the exterior of this home and some of the interior spaces as well. And this was so much fun. So thank you for sending it to me and suggesting that I recreate this. And uh, yeah, if anyone else ever sees homes they would like to see me tackle, feel free to tweet at me. I am Miss Griffey over there as everywhere else like Twitch and Instagram and you know, all the places. With that being said, if you would like to see this original build, like the tour of it, it, it didn't show building it. it was, it's a real life tiny house, but like the tour of the inside and who created it and all of that, I will have the video of this house linked down below. It's a really cool one. I recommend watching it. Uh, if you have enjoyed like tiny house tours in the past of real life ones or Maybe you've never seen those. You've only seen them in The Sims. They're really cool and you can definitely get a lot of inspiration for Sims builds from that. So one of the funky things that I'm doing right now is you see there's that tall box in the corner. Based on the roofing that this house had, the only way for me to do that is kind of to trick the game into thinking the roof is in a different spot because I needed to put a roof on top of the half walls at the top to get the correct roof shape. And so the only way to do that is to have a room over on the other side of the lot that is at the correct height to do that and then drag the roof off of that, but not all the way across because it won't let you. You kind of have to drag it so it's floating and then drag it again over onto the roof piece. So I just left that over there because while you're working on it, the roof that's not supposed to be there that's sitting on top of a half wall would disappear. So I left the box over in the corner so at the end of the build I could go ahead and put the roof back on. So that's why there are all of these like little bump outs and no top roof. It looks a little funky right now but it'll look okay in the end. I also changed like what outside paneling I was going to use. I was very indecisive between a couple of different ones because we don't have exactly what they used in the real build here. Uh, in the end I'm pretty sure I go with one from Eco Lifestyle in the end and also I wanted to try my best to get as much of the interior layout as possible to be the same as the real one. The only things I couldn't do were the lofted spaces, but I still think I ended up with a really cute interior and the bedroom is technically like on a platform, so it feels sort of lofted, but it's wasting a lot of space that way. I really wish we could do things where your sims could crawl into smaller spaces, but it's okay. I think this still came out really cute in the end. So as you can see, I have readjusted this so that it is a smaller space. It's only three wide and I'm trying to figure out the layout of the kitchen to match what the original interior had. I ended up going with these countertops from the Island Living Pack, getting some cabinets above it. And I actually ended up using the base game wallpaper with these leaves on it. It is fairly similar to the tile that they had used in the space in the actual house. And I just thought it looked really pretty and it wasn't something I would have thought to put in this space. So I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Uh, and then just getting some curtains over at the door here. So I actually think that this kitchen space is where the front door is supposed to be. That I do have the door there, but I have it facing the other way because I think it looks cooler from the outside. Because that glass portion in the front with the big windows and stuff is actually a bathroom with a big shower and stuff. It's really pretty. Uh, it wouldn't provide that much privacy, but it's really cool. I, I really much enjoy that. And then this is me trying to figure out the space for the bedroom. I also placed the couch in the same area and there actually is like stairs up to a little loft in that space. So I was trying to keep as much of the same layout as possible. The loft that I wasn't able to get uh, is the parents loft where the regular bedroom is. And then the one that I did create that has the bed here is actually where their child's loft was. And then in the real one, there was one above the kitchen that had like a computer and stuff. It was sort of like an office loft. 
Uh, so those weren't all possible, but I tried to recreate as much as possible from uh, what I was seeing. I did take some like of my own decisions for how I wanted to decorate, but in general, I wanted to keep the vibe of that house because I really, really liked it. It was so cute. Uh, I love watching tiny house tours. So this was, of course, a wonderful, fun thing to do. I was so happy that this got sent to me. So in the living space here, I am using a couch from the Dream Home Decorator Pack and the table is from Tiny Living. And then I put a really pretty bookcase above the uh, couch as well, which is from Eco Lifestyle. I'm just finishing up in the kitchen, getting a range hood. I'm trying to think what other decorations. I think I just put some soap by the sink and we have a hanging plant hanging right above the sink as well. That one is from Paranormal. I really enjoy that. Uh, we started getting hanging plants over the last couple of years, which has been nice. We got that one first and then, or not first, technically I got a couple before that, I believe with Nifty Knitting, unless I'm wrong about the order things came out in. And then we got the paranormal one and then we have some from the uh, Blooming Rooms kit. I love hanging plants, so it's really cool to have those in the game. I definitely use them too much, but they're just so pretty. I'm very happy to have those. I would like to have some that are like the trailing plants like that, but you could put on a surface. So you have a plant on like a counter or a bedside table or something and the leaves are draping off the end. I think that would be really cool. Anyway, this is the bedroom space. It's just a bed, a little dresser and a mirror and plants. Uh, I kept it fairly simple up here. I do get a painting as well, uh, but I wanted it to be really cozy and there is a window outside. I actually end up adding a window on the half wall over here as well. I thought about adding this one. I thought it was too big and didn't offer enough privacy, but I wanted to put one here so it would allow some more light to travel into the space if your Sims wanted that. Uh, and I add, I just think it added a little bit more interesting design to the space as well. And then we're just getting a little coat rack when you first walk in. And uh, yeah, some paintings over here as well. I really like those ones from Movie Hangout. They're one of my favorite collections of paintings in the game, so I often use those. And then I'm like, oh, we don't have trash cans yet. Let's work on that before hopping into the bathroom space, which is a really strange layout, but I kind of love it. In the real life version, the portion that is in like the big windows is actually like a tub and shower. And uh, it's like a different shape sort of, but it has that protruding space in the front with the glass roof. And it was hard to replicate in The Sims, so I just placed things where they made sense in there. And I thought it looked really cool. So here you can see I'm back outside and working on some of the landscaping as well as finalizing the colors on the outside. I will be changing them one more time, but I wanted to, you know, add some greenery and some trees and stuff. And the original version of this shows it in the winter with a little bit of snow, uh, but I decided to build it in the summertime so I could actually make sure everything looks okay in this time of year but I believe the like little fly-in teaser in the beginning of this video and the screenshots are going to be in the winter because I was trying to show it off how uh, it matched the original so there's that but just changing to this eco lifestyle wood wallpaper now which is my favorite it's not really the same as the one in the original but I feel like the color is more accurate. It was really hard to get the, like this orangey wood tone and here I am uh, fiddling with the roof. You can see I have to like move it over and then pause in the middle and then move it over again to get it to the right spot and then we're just messing around with the uh, the trim and stuff. A lot of it kept disappearing being on top of a half wall so there was quite a little bit of fiddling here and the one thing that's a lot different is the roof that's on the back portion of the build over that back half wall that I haven't done yet. Uh, it actually ends up being higher up in like a weird design piece I ended up doing because uh, it kept deleting portions of it if I left it the same way. But I'm just finishing up these little uh, pieces first. It's a lot of work to get them, but I think it looks really cute in the end. So I'm glad I did it. But here's that piece that I'm talking about now. It ends up looking like it's like a protruded or not protruded, but like it's lifted up, like maybe they pushed up the roof and it's being held up by something like a piece that holds it up. You'll see what I mean here in a minute because parts of the roof kept disappearing and I still wanted to have this piece here. So the best I could do was about right there. Yeah, there we go. Where there's like a wall piece holding it up. Anyway, I talked over the end of this video. So we're in screenshots now. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see y'all soon. Bye everyone.